Welcome to fifth grade title one night. Thank you for joining us. First of all, let me introduce you to our fifth grade team. Miss Brittany Walker teaches ELA. Miss Stacy Bennett is our fifth grade resource teacher. Miss Tammy Jeffords teaches math. Miss Amanda Moody in science and social studies. Miss Debbie Lanier in ELA. Miss Destiny Moore science and social studies, and Miss Cassie Williams math. We're going to take a look at our fifth grade schedule. We start the day off in homeroom and then move to ELT. ELT is a time for interventions or extension activities. During connection, students will rotate every three weeks and visit art, PE, music, or computer lab. Then we begin our regular academic blocks for ELA, math, science, and social studies. As you can see, it is very important to be here for the entire school day. I'd like to take a second to explain how grades are calculated in fifth grade. 40% of the student's total grade come from test scores, 35% of the total grade comes from quizzes, and 25% of the total grade comes from classwork. In order to stay informed about your child's grades, please be sure to access Infinite Campus Parent Portal on a regular basis. This will update you of any grades that have been entered. Please, please, please let your homeroom teacher know if you are unable to log into this site so that we can get you set up as soon as possible. Also, check the school calendar for the dates that we will be sending home progress reports and report cards. And as always, email your teachers at any time for updates. We're going to take a look at reading and ELA. Test grades from reading and ELA are cold read assessments. This means that students will read a passage that they've never read before and answer comprehension questions. Essay writing is also considered a test grade. Constructor responses and skill-based work are quiz grades. Constructor responses are written using the ACE strategy. Under classwork grades, students will complete various assignments based on current, current skills. Things that can be done at home. Read with your child and have him or her read independently for at least 20 minutes. You may utilize resources on Google Classroom, access Study Island and Epic, review study guides, and complete homework if given. In math, test grades come from our end of module assessments from our Eureka math units. Quiz grades come from the topic quizzes within the unit. The classwork grades come from various assignments based on current skills that we complete daily in the classroom. To help at home with math, Multiplication and division facts are the most important thing that you can help with. Just practice, practice, practice these with your child. It is very important that students become fluent with their multiplication and division facts so that they are able to complete the more complex math activities that we learn about in fifth grade. You could also utilize resources on Google Classroom. You'll find links to Zern, Reflex, Study Island, and other videos and activities that can be helpful for extra practice. Also, be sure to review study guides that are sent home before the end of module assessments. Complete homework if given by your teacher, and use the BES Pinterest page and KhanAcademy.org for more math help videos when practicing or working on homework. In the Science and Social Studies classroom, unit tests are given for test grades. Quizzes cover each topic within the unit. And for classwork grades, students are given various assignments based on content discussed in the classroom. There are several things that you can do at home to help with science and social studies. Review notes and vocabulary nightly. You may also study for unit tests using study guides that are sent home. You may also utilize resources in Google Classroom and complete homework if given. All right, some important testing info for fifth grade. We give two major tests in fifth grade, the GMAP assessment and the Georgia Milestone assessment. The GMAP assessment is a test given to all first through fifth graders at Blackshire Elementary. It is given three times, once in the fall, then again in the winter, and then at the end of the year in the spring. Fifth graders are tested on reading, language, math, and science. We use this test to measure ability and growth when compared to fifth graders across the nation. At the end of the year, we give the Georgia Milestone Assessment. This is given to all third through eighth graders in the state of Georgia. It is usually given at the end of April. 
Fifth graders are tested on reading, language, writing, math, and science. We use the results from this test to determine proficiency on fifth grade standards. How can you help your students at home? Read nightly for 20 minutes. This can be a cookbook, magazine, library book, or newspaper. Make it interesting. Allow your child to read to a sibling, a pet, or even go outside to enjoy outdoors while reading a book. Try to make it engaging. You may also make sure your students are fluent with math facts. A great idea is to create flashcards to practice with your child at home. It is very important to limit tardies and early checkouts unless absolutely necessary. If students are out sick or quarantined for exposure, use Google Classroom to stay connected if at all possible. You may check Google Classroom for assignments each day and also check the box out front for missed work. Encourage your students to always come to school ready to give their very best. And last but not least, we'll talk about how families can stay updated. First of all, read weekly newsletters that are sent home with students and posted on Living Tree. This will let you know about upcoming tests and the topics that we are currently working on in class. Also, check Living Tree for other important announcements from your child's teachers or from the school. Use Infinite Campus to stay up to date on your child's grades. Once again, please notify us as soon as possible if you are not able to access Infinite Campus. And last but not least, contact, the, contact us at any time via email, phone, or living tree, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks, for, thanks again for joining us today. We look forward to being a part of your village.